I went to Columbia University and I asked the students, what would you consider to be the worst part about this school? I feel like in the same way that Columbia has so much to offer within its walls, it, it can be turned out to a bubble for a lot of people. So a lot of people, given the fact they come from a place of privilege or have been in a different place of the world for the most of their lives, it might alienate them from the realities of what's going out in New York City or in the rest of the world. So I feel like it's a, a dichotomy of being really connected since you're coming from different places and at the same time being alienated because you're all here. So it's an interesting thing. This video is brought to you by Giving Feedback. Even though Columbia is regarded as one of the top schools in the country, that doesn't mean it's perfect. Let's see what the students at Columbia enjoy the least about their school. The worst part is probably the, <laughs> the tuition, I guess. I mean, I get some scholarship, but like it's not nearly enough. And I feel like that this campus is so much money. Like they can definitely do better because my friends at other Ivies get a lot of aid. I think it's also an aspect of city life, but also the fact that people have a lot of work. But it can be sometimes difficult for people to get out of their routines and meet each other, meet new people, or at least meet new people in a substantive way. There's a bit of a toxic culture at times. There's a specific type of student that, you know, gets into these types of institutions. And that's nothing against the, the student as much as like the institutional forces that kind of they had to adjust to to get into a place like this. So it's, it can be stressful towards like final season. The worst part of Columbia is that um, I don't think that there are enough black people here. I wouldn't say it's the worst part, but it needs some working on. I think Columbia can definitely do better with inner school collaboration. For example, between the undergraduate population, um, school of engineering, school of business, uh, well, business school, the medical school, teachers college. There are so many resources, I feel, that are in each school that students from other schools don't know about. So yeah, this is something we can work on. For me personally, maybe the commute, but I'm looking to move here. So um, I, I really cannot say anything bad about the institution, the university. Uh, so if I answered that question, I would be being dishonest if I had something bad to say about where I am. The worst part is the administration. Can I cuss? Yeah. They, they really don't give a shit about us. At least I think so. Um, we're going through graduate student union strikes right now, or there's gonna be strike next week. So there's a reason for that. Like we don't really mesh with administration very well, I think. Dissonance between some of the schools, like uh, Columbia College and general studies and uh, C's and engineering, all, all that, Barnard. Well, it's part of being in New York City is that you have this, you have more of a campus than NYU, but here at Columbia, it does feel like I mean, Broadway and Amsterdam are just the borders, and most of campus and life is outside of those borders. Sometimes, I don't struggle with this too much, but I know a lot of friends do, have difficulty feeling like they belong here. They're somewhere where after classes are over, where they can go. There are really not many student life student centers. There's one place over there, Learner Hall, uh, but hardly anyone hangs out there. It's sort of a sort of sterile. I'm not sure. Um, the worst part? I don't know. Everything seems good to me. It's very myopic. You know, you have a lot of people who are trying to compete for these arbitrary positions of success, these jobs that you think that are the good jobs, doctor, lawyer, investment banker, whatever, and they get so worked up about things that they don't really consider. Like, I've never interviewed for a job where someone asked my GPA, and it's, it's, it's mind-boggling, really, and it, it really warps the minds of a lot of students who come here when they're younger. But, like I said, I like to kind of step back from all that. <laughs> Uh, I think the stress culture like is really at times just super daunting and like you try to get out of it but just being like in the bubble like that's what everyone kind of calls it is really difficult and like you walk like maybe like 10 blocks uptown and you're like this is a whole different world and so I think that it's good to like get out of that but definitely that would be the worst part the bubble and like the stress inside the bubble. Definitely dining hall food somewhat inconsistent like it has its it has its days but you know that that could be improved or also just like managing workload i think i mean it's like everywhere workload's going to be tough but i feel like like as a freshman like i don't think there's any way they could reasonably expect us to do all the lit home reading and just stuff like that i would say the uh the never-ending amount of work which is kind of 
produced by the like expectation of competition um, that really kind of warps intellectual activity uh, for the sake of individual entrepreneurialism or something like that. And it really gets to people's heads, it gets to everybody's heads. I know we could be spending our time much better, for example, enjoying this day instead of spending it all day in the library. So. Probably just the, the pressure to take a certain amount of classes and do and achieve a certain level. Sometimes people are too outcomes focused and I think there's like this obviously this competitive aspect because we are at an Ivy but I do think that sometimes people just stop for a moment and just talked and um, weren't always focusing on oh well, there's this huge project I'm doing or this big internship I'm interviewing for and just focus on actually what are you doing like right now like, what are you actually doing to make yourself happy in the moment I think we'd all be like a little bit happier and a little bit like more relaxed because there's a balance between being like too ambitious and too driven and just like also enjoying be in college. The impersonality of a lot of it, because it's a lot, you're control, you're, you know, you're dealing with a lot of people that it can sort of feel a little alienating, I think, sometimes. Just to feel like you're navigating a lot on your own, I think. A lot of resources, a lot of libraries, a lot of ground, just a lot of things to learn. And I sometimes think that because it's, there's this expectation that everyone's just going to get there on their own. I think that's, that's hard. Yeah. Before you go, please like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments which part mentioned by these students surprised you. Or you can let us know if what they said was enough to make you want to be a student at Columbia University. After that, be sure to check out our other videos to keep the conversations going. Thanks for watching. We'll talk again soon.